Hello and welcome to another episode of Barlow's TV, your local garden and landscape resource. I'm here today with my father, Steve Barlow, to talk to you about planting a crepe myrtle tree. We are in a great spot in this yard where we get full sun. Crepe myrtles like full sun, meaning they need six plus hours of sun a day. So we found our spot and we're gonna start digging our hole. You wanna make sure you dig a hole about one and a half times the size of your container. This will ensure that the tree or the bush, whichever style you choose, will have a good, a good soil source for the roots to grow. So what he's doing here is he's digging the soil. You can see the soil here is very rich in organics. It has a lot of nice sandy loam soil. But if you don't have a great soil, and even it's good, even if you do have a good soil, to add some of this compost to the soil. So as he's digging that, I'm gonna add this nice, rich, organic, premium organic compost blend to this soil. What that does is it adds more structure to the soil. I'm gonna mix it into our backfill. So as I'm doing that, my father's done digging the hole, he's gonna take the tree out of the pot. And most of the time when you see a tree, the roots are gonna be kind of wrapped around a little bit. If you see here, these roots are kind of together. So what you wanna do is take your spade or your hand and kind of break up those roots. That'll give them the chance to really spread out in your hole. So you can see he's breaking it up. Then what we're also gonna do is we're gonna add this Biotone Starter Plus. It's a natural plant food that has something called Microrhizae in it. Microrhizae is, an, is a natural occurring organism that helps to enhance the roots. It reduces transplant shock. It just really helps that plant to get a good jump start once it's in the ground. So I like to use a couple of handfuls, generally two handfuls, you know, a little in the back fill, a little in the bottom of the hole. So we pop the tree in the hole, make sure it's in the right spot where we're looking at it. You'll kind of take a step back, make sure the shape is where we want it. I like that, Dad. So once right. we have our set, we're gonna backfill it in, you know, and you can see we have our nice compost mixed in with it. So we're backfilling it in, kind of pushing it down. You don't want a lot of air pockets in there because the, the roots won't grow in air pockets. The roots will only grow in the soil. So we have it nice and in there. We kind of smooth it out so it looks good. And there you have it. So now what we want to do is we want to get a nice water, water trickle on that. We want to water in really well. What I recommend is putting a hose on it, having it trickle out for about an hour, you know, and that will give it a good soaking. You want to do that three times, two to three times a week, depending on how warm it is. And you want to do that up until, you know, we start to get the really cool nights of September. So that's how to plant a crepe, crepe myrtle tree or bush. I encourage you to check out our website for more Barlow's TV episodes. Thanks and have a great day.